all, welcome to this special edition of Rajya Sabha Television from a developing smart city, Bhopal. Improving the state of governance in our cities is something that we can no longer afford to delay. And the smart city mission in India aims to improve the quality of life through optimum utilization of resources. And Bhopal has made discernible progress in achieving the mandate set by the smart city mission. Bhopal. The capital of Madhya Pradesh is one of the greenest cities in India. Founded by Raja Bhoj in the 11th century, the city was known as Bhojpal after his name. However, an Afghan soldier, Dost Muhammad, established the present city. Located in the heart of India, Bhopal is famously known as the city of lakes because of the presence of many natural and artificial lakes. It is also the city of Nawabs and Nawabi Wif permeates the air. But today's Bhopal is a beautiful amalgamation of an old world charm with a new age modern setting. Bhopal is an important economic, industrial, political and educational centre of Madhya Pradesh and is now home to many institutions and installations of the state and national importance. Along with its breathtaking views and pleasant climatic conditions, Bhopal is also one of the well-developed cities in the country. Bhopal was in the first list of 20 cities selected by the centre to implement the Smart City program. It was the only city to be selected for an exclusively redevelopment-based model. Other city projects had either retrofitting or a combination of retrofitting and redevelopment. The Pan City proposals for new and old Bhopal envisage smart, unified governance to streamline civic amenities and enable ease of governance and business. We don't have experience. We did not have experience with smart cities. All right? We built cities in a smart way traditionally hundreds and thousands of years ago. But a new smart city, which is anchored in the fourth industrial revolution, the use of technology to make people's lives easier, ease of living, to provide security for women, to provide um, friendly features for the differently abled, for children and so on. These concepts have had to be reworked. It is mandatory for every smart city to build an integrated command and control center. In fact, Bhopal gave India its first integrated command and control center. This center has a cloud-based universal internet platform that enables authorities to monitor civic utilities in real time using GPS sensors. The center is the nerve system of any smart city. In a major step towards realizing the center's smart city mission, the state government launched the country's first cloud-based integrated control and command center for all seven smart cities of Madhya Pradesh. The center enables the state administration to monitor and administer multiple city civic utilities and citizen services across seven cities in the state through a central cloud. These cities include Bhopal, Gwalior, Jabalpur, Indore, Ujjain, Satna and Sagar. It also enables statewide monitoring of these cities 
from a central command view and result in significant savings as compared to deploying a full-fledged data and disaster recovery center in each of these seven cities. This platform is critical as it adapts and integrates thousands of discrete sensors and applications. It also enables the state government to remotely manage and control various citizen services via a single platform. We are managing the solid waste management from here. Control is here. यहाँ पे अगर हम ये देख सकते हैं कि कौन सी अगर हम सॉलिड वेस्ट को इंटीग्रेट किया हुआ है जो गार्बेज बिन्स हैं उसमें सेंसर्स लगाए गए हैं और जो उनको कलेक्ट करने के लिए उनके साथ में जो तो आपके जो ट्रक्स हैं उसमें भी सेंसर्स लगे हुए हैं उस गार्बेज बिन में कौन सी गार्बेज बिन कितनी भरी कितनी भरी हुई कितनी नहीं भरी हुई है उसको पिक किया कि नहीं पिक किया है उसने ट्रक ने उसकी पूरी पोजिशनिंग जाती है सिटी में कितना गार्बेज कलेक्ट हो रहा है उसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन आती है दूसरा कितना जितना कलेक्ट हुआ कितना ट्रांसफ़र हो गया उसकी इसमें से इन्फॉर्मेशन आती है अगर ट्रांसफ़र नहीं हुआ तो कहाँ पर पेंडिंग है उसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन आती है द इंटीग्रेटेड ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम हैज मेड द कम्यूटर्स ऑफ भोपाल इवन मोर मेडिकलिस द कैमराज आर वॉचिंग यू द मोमेंट यू जम्प अ ट्रैफिक सिग्नल and crouch upon zebra crossing or drive on the wrong side of the road in fact challans are immediately issued in case of any violation the integrated traffic management system is an essential part of the bhopal smart city project on the first day itself as many as 680 riders were caught driving two wheelers without helmets The intelligent traffic system uses cameras installed at all major road trisections and squares to identify motorists riding motorcycles and scooters without helmets. The riders are penalized with each allowance. Each allowance for traffic rule violations have come down from 10,000 to 500 per day within months of launch of intelligent traffic management system. ITMS provides greater information to the authorities to proactively manage the traffic situation and force traffic discipline and increase road safety by preventing accidents the system checks traffic rule violation including traffic light violation over speeding helmetless driving and triple riding detection as one this violation has been captured each alarm is automatically being produced on the this um, uh, this screen you can see the those uh, this listing is going on the uh, generation of each lane is going on uh, for those who has violated uh, this traffic rules so per day uh, we, are, we are generating more than 500 uh, uh, this um, each lane per day uh, so we are tar targeting to have our city safe while driving safe while uh, moving and to have this uh, traffic rules violation be gone down uh, in near future or so it's not about the idea It's about making the idea happen. And Smart City Mission's focus on innovative projects is a big booster shot for the startup industry, giving a fillip to the entrepreneurial spirit of urban residents. Here are some phenomenal success stories of not startups but smart ups. Take a look. Anurag An entrepreneur from Bhopal has vowed to integrate Swachh Bharat Mission and Smart City Mission. In today's e-commerce market, it is quite easy for us to buy any new product and get it delivered at the doorstep. But Anurag decided to make Crash of Citizens of Bhopal his cash by connecting people with Kabadi Wallas via online media. His portal, the Kabadi Wala, is a doorstep service that lets people sell their household junk like newspaper iron plastic books metal and get paid for it the move intends to recycle reuse and reduce and resell the scrap it is a platform for the residents to participate in responsible waste management and is best in class technology logistics to process the scrap 
आपके घर का जो भी वेस्ट हो आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का उसका स्मार्ट सॉल्यूशन देते हैं ताकि वो कचरा रोडों पर ना आ सके और हमारा शहर स्वच्छ हो सके और जैसे हम अपने शहर को स्मार्ट बनाना चाहते हैं तो हम चाहते हैं भोपाल सबसे स्मार्ट बने और जैसे कि आपने देखा है कि भोपाल नंबर दूसरे नंबर पर है क्लीनेस्ट सिटी ऑफ द कंट्री के तो हम चाहते हैं उसे नंबर वन पर ला सकें When Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Smart City Mission, 29-year-old Sudhir was confident that vertical farming is the key to smart cities of future. His startup, Smart Bean, propagates urban vertical farming, one of the fastest-growing trends in food production. By the year 2050, nearly 80% of the Earth's population will reside in urban centers, and the issue of food security will assume paramount importance. Vertical farming is the practice of producing food and medicine in vertically stacked layers. Sudhir says that this technique of farming is more sustainable as it lowers the requirement of water up to 70% and also saves considerable space and soil. So incubation center are helping us in growing in these kind of like thing. So they are mentoring us uh, regarding the market segment, regarding the prototyping. They are also providing us the labs so that we can facilitate the, facilitate these kind of like things, so that we can use the laser cutting and the, all the other stuff also. Ravi is carefully analyzing this labyrinth of numerous wires, use of drone imagery to map and geotag properties. real time video to map vehicular movement electricity supply monitoring that predicts peak usage could all be a reality in this incubation center of bhopal as budding entrepreneurs like ravi are finding automation solutions ravi has tried to make his city a highly automated and digitized metropolis in line with the developed countries of the world agar hame ek smart city banani hai तो हमें अब से सबसे पहले अपने घर से शुरुआत करनी होगी तो अगर ये जो मेरा सिस्टम है ये हमारे पूरे घर को स्मार्ट बनाएगा सो so, हम अपने घर को स्मार्ट बनाने के साथ ही अपनी सिटी को स्मार्ट बना सकते हैं डू यू नीड अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर योर आइडिया कैन बी नर्चर्ड इन टू वाइबल बिजनेस देन लेट्स इनक्यूबेट दिस इज द मंत्रा ऑफ भोपाल स्मार्ट सिटी कॉरपोरेशन फॉर इनकरेजिंग ऑन्टरप्रिनशिप अमॉन्ग द यूथ्स Incubation centers hold significant importance where entrepreneurs launch new setups and change the game of business by minutes. Better planning, service execution, expert monitoring, funding, networking and office space are the key features of this business incubator. One of the objectives with uh, with almost all smart cities is to create uh, a startup ecosystem with with the vision of Mr. Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi. and this uh, this incubation center is in line with those vision that he has thought of so this is a smart city uh, initiative of uh, having an incubation center to create an ecosystem in bhopal and the idea is that you you create a, a spirit amongst the entrepreneurs or the future entrepreneurs who can generate employment another fascinating aspect of smart bhopal is mayor express which aims to provide reliable reasonable verified and standardized services to the denizens independent service providers can register on this dynamic platform and generate a lot of business opportunities Like all of us, Divya, a chartered accountant by profession, has indolent days when she doesn't feel like stepping out of the house, even though that facial appointment is long overdue. For hassle-free, pampering treatments from the comfort of her home, she visits the Mare Express app to book experienced and trusted beauty professionals to fulfill all her hair, makeup, and skincare needs. very easy and convenient for me uh, reason being it's safe and uh, it's readily available and the charges are very minimal and it's available at my home that's better than anything Bhopal Smart City Corporation has rolled out the Mare Express service Mare Express provides reliable and affordable home based services and service providers 
the denizens get plumber, electrician, carpenter, driver and other service providers at affordable prices. A dedicated call center receives the call and allocates trusted servicemen. Smart waste management is an integral part of any smart city mission. And Bhopal's biogas plant is based on the dictum that nothing should go waste and that all organic products should be converted into biogas and organic manure. The plant is installed at Bitten Market Bhopal and processes 5 tons of segregated organic municipal solid waste daily. There are over 50 hotels and 500 vegetable vendors in the area making the location an idle base to collect organic waste. <laughs> The waste to energy plant uses municipal solid waste and produces biogas utilized to generate electricity for lighting up street lights. The aim is to provide innovative, cost effective, one stop solution in waste management and to convert the waste to energy under Swachh Bharat mission. The plant also reduces landfill waste and provides clean environment and green energy. In smart city project, it's not a project which is uh, in which all the funds needs, need to be sunk in. It's a project which is supposed to generate funds as and when the project gets implemented. There are various models of monetization and smart city as a company is supposed to ensure that this uh, concept of rolling funds continues in the smart city project. The city of Lakes is trying to turn smarter by trying to reduce its carbon footprint. It has launched public bike sharing program, touted to be a unique initiative in the country to develop and promote the habit of cycling. 500 GPS enabled bicycles imported from Germany, 50 docking stations, long red tracks and one ambitious initiative. Bhopal Smart City Corporation has unveiled a public bike sharing project claiming to be one of its kind in the country. Under the project, registered users are able to use facility for a nominal fee by picking up and dropping off bicycles at any of the docking stations. A central control room monitors the availability of bicycles and three distribution vans move them from one station to another to ensure availability. Cycle sharing is a key element in a city's strategy to expand the use of sustainable transport modes. I am a student of Bhartulla Paswadhyaya and I use cycle more than the cycle because I don't have to use it at the rate. We cover the distance of 1-2 km and 2 km and we cover the distance of the cycle. We also have a difference in the cycle and we also have a difference in our health. Bhopal has launched first of its kind public-private partnership based smart poles and intelligent street lights project in India under the Smart Cities mission. Smart Pole offers multiple services to the city residents. Smart Pole has telecom tower infrastructure to match city's aesthetics and is compliant with 4G technology. It is energy efficient with controllable LED street lights. In fact, surveillance cameras for safety and parking violation detection are also mounted on it. Bhopal also got its first smart multi-level parking inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. With the development of this facility, people are able to see the available parking slots through a mobile phone application and make payment through e-payment modes. We created a decentralized mechanism 
in madhya pradesh the cities have their own smart city companies with no uh, representation from at the leadership level from the state side so the district collector chairs the smart city company the municipal commissioner is the executive director we have a full time ceo so we created an entity which could think and work on its own the state becomes a guide as well as the union government and we could do knowledge sharing help them to uh, to moderate their projects create uh, environment where they could uh, seed ideas and then help them to raise finances Bhopal is ranked 7th in the Ease of Living Index and Initiative of the Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to help cities assess livability with a view global and national benchmarks. The city was also given the Innovative Idea Award for its innovative, bottoms-up and transformative approach towards achievement of sustainable integrated development under the Smart Cities Award 2018. हम तो स्मार्ट हैं ही और हमारा शहर भी स्मार्ट बन रहा है काफ़ी चेंजेस हैं मतलब हर हर चीज़ को रूल्स रेगुलेशन से फॉलो किया जा रहा है मतलब कोई रूल्स रेगुलेशन सोचने के पहले दस बार सोचता है डेफिनेटली चेंजेस तो हैं पहले अभी विजन वाइज देखें तो पहले का भोपाल और अभी स्मार्ट भोपाल डेफिनेटली विजिबल चेंजेस हैं Cities accommodate nearly 31% of India's current population and contribute roughly 63% to country's GDP. Urban areas are expected to house 40% of India's population and contribute 75% to GDP by 2030. This requires comprehensive development of physical, institutional, social and economic infrastructure. All are important in improving the quality of life and attracting people, investment, and setting in motion a virtuous cycle of growth and development. Development of smart cities is a step in that direction, and the city of Bhopal is making strides to achieve that target. The aim is to ensure people's participation in the process of reform. Beginning has been made to change the urban landscape of India. and bhopal is certainly showing the way well that's all we have for you in this edition from the entire team of rs tv from bhopal thanks for watching mm -hmm.